Good morning. Welcome to our weekly coffee chat. We've finished our first full week of in August, cruising right along. Um, so today we're actually going to talk about some nerdy things and then some fun things. <laughs> we're going to talk about reading nutrition labels, which can be nerdy, but I also think it's fun and interesting. Um, and then we're going to talk about treats and factoring those treats into your um, your plan. And we're gonna give you some, we're gonna look at a couple of different recipes. Um, Deb, did you finish your board? Yeah. Let's kick that off with that. So Deb got her photos. Oh, good. And let me give you, make a noise, Deb. Oh, yeah, here it is. Here we go. <laughs> So, like I said, I got big pictures and small ones, and see, there's my diamond. Yay. Oh, nice. Technology. <laughs> Revive the Inner You, that's my brand, and um, belong to the Chilkat Indian Village, and uh, I'm still trying to get enrolled in there, so I need to work on that. And um, uh, which one is this one? Oh estate plan that's part of my financials um so we got our draft into the lawyers and we got to get things transferred to that but getting that finished and you may have seen oh this is our motorcycle coffee rides for my husband get ready to do road trips when we can this is my ugh, time management <laughs> effort. <laughs> it's just a constant for me a battle a bit but uh, and then check in with friends and family I want to do that daily and I do and uh, of course there's this habit stacking I found um, and my quilting I have gotten away from it so I want to get back into it so yeah in general um, it's an overall idea it's different I use the other side of my other one so <laughs> And Good I put uh, contact paper on here to fill the voids. So, yeah, it's for the end of the year. So to keep my focus. Awesome. And landscape was the other one. We had our uh, designer come here a couple of days ago. So we're going to get some water efficiencies for these plants. And it turned out that some plants are burning because they're not enough water. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, oops. So, anyways, well, yeah. Well. <laughs> but it certainly took a while to get the pictures, but uh, it's fun. Mm -hmm. get. Came out nice. Yeah, I think so. Um, I put my mission in the middle is getting diamond status on coaching. So, which means helping more people. So her, that's her goal of a certain number of people. Yep. Which is awesome. Yeah. More for our sisterhood, our sister gang. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so yeah, that. Uh, so if you haven't done it, do it. Um, and I, like I said, I, it took me a while to get the pictures, but Sheila was able to print her own pictures and do her own board. So um, I was hoping she was on so she could share hers, but she's been pretty busy. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Cool. Thank you. That Thank looks you. great. I love Thank it. You. Can't wait to get mine done. Um, Sandy, were you on that call when we did that? I think. No, I wasn't. Okay. Um, I will email you the, um, it's a worksheet, kind of walk you through how to create one of those. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah. We usually do them at the beginning of the year, but because of COVID and everything, <laughs> we thought we'd revisit and redo it just for the rest of the year and uh, just at least that much. And then we'll probably launch again in January for the full year. So things are achievable or actually to take extraordinary effort and a wavering faith. <laughs> yes. Oh my yeah. goodness. Yes. What a great book. Mm. Okay, so let's look at nutrition labels. Um, we, we thought about playing the 
the video that Autumn does, but it's 14 minutes. So we're going to actually just share with you um, the takeaways from that video. Mm -hmm. So I did send you this sheet here. If you can see that. Mm -hmm. um, but then I also first just want to go over and I can, um, I'll put this in the group page in the files, but there's different um, names for added added sugar. And that's one of the, that's one of the first things I look at when I'm looking at a label, how much added sugar is in there? Because if there's a ton of added sugar in it, then I'm not even going to worry about the rest of the label, <laughs> you know? Um, so here's just some names that it comes under. If you do, if you do look at the ingredients of something, but I'll I'll send that out. I'll um, pin this in the group so people know and just something to be aware of. Um, but so when we look at the breakdown of the actual nutrition label, and I think I think most of us are pretty good at you know looking at most labels. Um, just obviously one of the I I remember when I first learned this that there's a serving size um, and it wasn't just whatever I thought it was <laughs> that when I would eat something, I'm like, Oh, this is really good. And I look at what the serving size was and I'm like, Oh my gosh, I just ate 10 servings, <laughs> you know? And uh, um, so now I'm very aware of that. And so everything that's in the label here, as far as the numbers go and how much is of each nutrient is in a serving is dependent on that particular portion. So um, be wary of, uh, be aware of that. Um, and then there's, you know, sometimes that works to your advantage. I know there's, um, we, we get these cauliflower pretzels and you can have like 32 pretzels. I should, I don't have any here. I would have brought that bag up. Um, so it's a nice kind of crunchy, salty snack that you can have a few. Um, I still count it as, it's a, you know, cauliflower base, but it's obviously, it's still uh, yellow. But, um, so sometimes it goes into your advantage. So check that out. Um, and then obviously, you know, that serving is, the calorie amount here is for that serving size, for one serving. And then um, there's highlighted what to avoid and what we need to get an, enough of. So, um, maybe I'll talk about what to get enough of and Deb, you can talk about what to avoid. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just to be sure we get enough of obviously fiber. Um, we want, we actually don't get enough fiber in our diet typically or typical people. Um, I think we do a lot better cause we're very much aware of that. And if we're eating veggies most or getting in our green containers, we're going to definitely just get more plant-based fiber. Um, it will usually get more vitamin D. Um, so these here is why this is just a short list. These are vitamins and minerals that are really most beneficial for us that we usually don't get in sufficient amounts. So we want to just make sure. And um, it tells you on here the percentage of your daily value. So this, whatever this label is, has zero vitamin D. Um, and vitamin D is just really critical for us. Um, so look at look at this, and then this is dependent on a, a two thousand calorie day, which may not we may be you know if you're on plan A you're in you know up to fifteen hundred calories max. So just know that you're getting a little less than what this says based on a fifteen hundred calorie day. So um, and Fiber, the things, what I, so in your Shakeology, you're getting a good dose of this. So I would look at your Shakeology bag label two and see what your percentages are of these. Um, Cause you're getting your vitamins and your minerals in there. You're getting six, at least six grams of fiber. Um, I think the chocolate has more, mm -hmm. which yay for chocolate. <laughs> Another mm -hmm. reason to love chocolate. Um, and then I personally, boost mine with the digestive health just because I thought I was very regular. I thought it was really good in that area. But with, when I was having some issues and getting scans done, my doctor kept telling me, you know, you just, you're full of poop. 
like, <laughs> okay, you need more fiber. And uh, so I do that. Um, and it has the insoluble and the soluble fiber. So it cleans your gut out with the um, insoluble fiber and then sweeps it away with the soluble fiber. So, so there are ways to supplement if you're not getting sufficient amount. And I also take a vitamin D mm -hmm. tablet from my doctor because my vitamin D levels were low, which is typical in a state where you're not getting, or a country where you're not getting, um, or you have lots of darker days, you're not getting as much sunlight. So vitamin D sometimes has to be supplemented. So that's mine on that. And if you want to share about what to limit and avoid, Deb. Yeah. Um, ironically, I'm subscribed vitamin D as well because I'm not outside as much because I'm inside because it's cooler. Uh -huh. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Interesting. Um, yeah. So what you want to limit is the saturated fat. Um, so she lists this and trans fat, there's just no question about getting rid don't even see if you see trans fat don't even bother and um, and then the cholesterol so on but what was interesting when i was watching her video was that she said that butter and coconut coconut oil is good but in a limited amount because it is such a good wholesome type of food or fat or oil and um just use it at a limited amount. And I think that goes with ghee as well. Is that right, Louise? Yeah. Um, my husband is a ghee freak. And so <laughs> one time he just put a whole scoop in and, and it was like. <laughs> so <laughs> but ghee, it, ghee is just clarified butter and it, yeah. it, they've taken the lactose out. Yep. So actually, I enjoyed it and I didn't have a reaction to it. So mm -hmm. that's right. And then the other thing she noted was, I was, my enunciation is terrible at times, but it's partially hydrogenated oil or hydrogenated oil. If you ever see that in the ingredients or in this uh, label, don't do it. She says, throw that out. It's just probably, she considers one of the worst oils to have in your ingredient label. Um, and then the sugars, the added sugar is what you need to be careful of. Um, like here it says 19 grams of total sugar, but it includes 10 grams of added sugars, which is 20%. And that's not really good because the added sugars is the most likely the not good sugars. It's the processed sugar. Although it says on the bottom, it's organic whole milk, organic cane sugar and then sweet cream buttermilk um so i'm assuming this is a type of yogurt or something but the cane sugar is probably good um but our whole process and programs is trying to eliminate sugar so why promote it in the first place <laughs> um but the what do you call it um stevia sugar is good substitute so if they had that in there, I'll probably most likely to get it. But when I look at 19 grams of sugar, and then I'm looking at total carbohydrates is 22 grams, I probably wouldn't buy this myself. But that's why I'm very careful on the sugar, more so than I am on the fats. I do look at the trans fat, but I, when I look at a label, I immediately look at the sugar, and then I do look at the ingredients, and then the last few or I can't pronounce them, so probably added <laughs> stuff. <laughs> so it's just a matter of you get in a habit, like anything, you, um, if you start questioning yourself, ask Siri, because I do that, <laughs> and, um, because I have no idea, and I'm probably not pronouncing it correctly to have Siri to understand it, but um, it is imperative because the foods are preserved and, and every shape or form just to have the shelf life and what autumn promotes and then louise had discussed if you have whole foods that have no labels no ingredient labels those are the best and i was just looking at the chicken and it literally just had protein in it and just a few other stuff and nothing else so it's holding true <laughs> so that's my take on it yeah 
so this probably is yogurt because that lacidophilus those yeah. things are those are actually good things although they're hard to pronounce but um and there is there are nutrient benefits to like organic cane sugar mm -hmm. um we were actually going to look that up um, and bring that information to you here once on a coffee chat like just the different sugars and some some of the nutrients that are in them but um so if you see over here the protein always aim for more protein than added sugar yeah and obviously we're choosing you know, when you're following the ultimate portion fix food list you know aim for that top third which are the most nutrient dense which are no-brainers we don't even have to read levels just pick those which is what i love <laughs> mm -hmm. but um and then the so and trans fat just on that it's it's a it's a highly processed it's a chemical process that they create they they actually hydrogenate um liquid vegetable oils to make it to solidify it to make it um a, a a product that can thicken things up so it's just it's your body has absolutely no use for it so definitely want to stay away from that and um and then so this is the back of the label on the like if you had a package um there's going to be things on the front like claims and a lot of people just look at that oh this is heart healthy or you know this is uh low sodium or whatever so people will buy that without even looking at the nutrition the actual label so they those claims um they can make them uh, with certain guidelines and some of them are almost um not necessarily false but not entirely true right so um like you can have a certain amount of trans fat and call it trans fat free but there can still be like a 0.5 gram per serving so you're still getting some of that chemically processed fat um and then when they have low fat or non-fat foods usually there's fillers that have been added to preserve the taste and the texture so again that's why it's good to look at the label and look and see if you got all these chemical looking type names in the ingredients then you probably want to try to find a different um product okay so um if you got the email i had asked for you to bring like if you looked in your pantry and grabbed something did anybody bring a, something to to talk about mm -hmm. ah. yeah i did uh, as well oh good okay and it's something I eat every morning and it sort of just came upon me. I didn't like seek it out. Um, have you heard of diverticulitis? Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, my husband has it and my mother-in-law sort of runs in their family. So somebody had told them to have like a couple tablespoons of brand buds every day. And that sort of helps them to not get it. So, and I don't buy cereal. So I was one day, uh, I went off of my yogurt, fruit, granola, and switched it to Brand Buds almond milk and fruit. So I thought, well, he already has Brand Buds. It sounds healthy. So now that I'm looking at this, I'm like, hmm, I'm surprised I'm still losing weight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Like, I'm trying to share it with you. I don't know if this really, if you can see it, I think maybe it's not as good as I think. It's hard and to I have a hard half to, a cup. Yeah, it doesn't focus in very well on the. Oh, does it? So, well, I was sort of surprised. It says it has 36 grams of carbs for a half a cup, which Ooh. is what I have every morning. Um, dietary fiber, 17 grams. Soluble fiber, 5 grams. Insoluble fiber, 12 grams. Total sugars, 12 grams. Mm. Um, and then it says included added sugars, 12 grams, protein, five grams. So I don't think I'm doing myself any favors here. Yeah. Not the, not the best choice. Um, yes. So now I have to, <laughs> I, I've gotten so used to not buying cereal that now I'm like, I don't know, even know where to begin because I haven't bought cereal forever. Right. Um, and, but the, and so the whole. The whole um the brand buds why that is 
recommended or suggested for your, the dive articulitis is for the fiber. So, yeah, and it does say on the front high fiber. Yeah. So I thought I'm doing awesome. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I um. Does anybody know an alternative of something that's healthier, maybe that I could switch out? You know, not off the top of my head because I don't get cereal either. Um, maybe <laughs> oatmeal. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, and what you want to look for is something that where you're going to, you're, so he's going to get that fiber, both of those fibers. Yeah. So he'll, he'll probably continue on with that plan, but I just thought, well, it's here. Uh, it sounds healthy. It says high fiber. Um, and I measured out my yellow container. I'm thinking, okay, all good. Um, never really spent time looking cause I'm thinking, well, it's one serving. Yeah. So can you tell us what is the, so the total 12 grams of sugar is the added sugar. So what is the added sugar? Uh, well, it says total sugars, 12 grams. And below that it says included added sugars, 12 gram. Yeah. So the whole sugar is from whatever is added to it. So 12. Yeah. So what is in the ingredient label? What is the sugar? Is it probably organic? Oh, it's, so the ingredients say wheat bran, sugar, and then we have something, psyllium seed husk, and contains 2% or less of salt, baking soda. Okay. So yeah. it's, it, that is really horrible. <laughs> just... Darn it. I was, in, and it's really funny. It's like bland which I am so used to eating that type of food that to me, it's like, oh, I like bland stuff, you yeah. know? Add some banana and almond milk, I'm good. Yeah. yeah, so probably has gluten, which, you know, may or may not affect your digestion. Um, and the sugar is probably your basic white processed Yeah, that's sugar. the sugar, so yeah, so I could see where the sugar and the carbs are doing me yeah. any favors. <clears throat> And is it true you take the carbs and subtract the fiber and that gives you your net carb? Is that? You know, I don't know. That's a good question. I think that's what my son always tells me. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he's just trying to make me feel better. <laughs> I was going to say that. I think there's something about that. I just can't remember about the, yeah, the yeah. <laughs> negate some of that. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Well, here's a cereal that, but it's a hot cereal that I've been using with my yogurt. It's called Superfood Oats. And um, it's got, uh, it's for a third cup serving. Total fat, four grams. Total carbs is 24 grams, but the dietary fiber is five grams which is 20% per serving. And then the protein is six grams and it's less than one gram sugar. So it's, it's dried apples, pecans, flax seeds, quinoa flakes, um, cinnamon, just natural. But I'm, I'm, I love having um, yogurt with something crunchy in it. So mm -hmm. <laughs> that's why I, I, I like cereal or something in my, um, yogurt i make my own granola like i don't know if you can do the gluten but i guess you could substitute whatever and then then you know what you're getting in it right that's true mm -hmm. you know there's recipes out there i haven't made it myself i used to eat fiber one but i don't know that probably has sugar in it too oh yeah Anywho, <laughs> sorry. So this is the granola that I use on my. Mm. Ooh, I've seen that's what that. I use too. Yeah, and it's got he's got a headband on. It's the fit version um, because it's less sugar. Still has some sugar, but uh, either this or I have to make it. So. Yeah, Karen was just sharing that she makes her granola. She knows what's in it. <laughs> <clears throat> this is good. This has 46 grams of whole grains per serving. Um, it's the cane sugar. 
brown rice syrup. But it's uh, five grams of <clears throat> added sugars. But it in seven grams of protein. So it has more protein per serving than the sugar. And <clears throat> um, you get half a cup, which I use, just use this, the yellow container. And it comes in two different flavors. So I really like that one. And then you had a couple of bars, Deb? Yeah, so if you haven't tried it, everybody, has everybody tried the Beach Body Bar? Mm -hmm. This is a vegan based one. And uh, this is uh, 150 calories total uh, for one bar, zero trans fat. Um, Total carbs is 14 grams, and four, four of that is fiber, and there's six grams of total sugar, no added sugar, and it's nine grams of protein. And it has um, iron, calcium, and whatnot in there, and it's, this vegan base is pea crisp, pea protein. And so that's what, and this is generally a half a pro, uh, container, half half a protein, red one, a half a yellow one, and a teaspoon. So that's what one bar consists. Now, I live in a keto, if you haven't noticed or anything, I live in a keto lifestyle home. My husband's keto. And he uses these bulletproof bars. And if you don't know keto, it's a high fat, low carb, zero carb diet. And this is 220 calories compared to 150 calories and his total fat content is 14 grams and looking at this one fat content is seven grams so this is doubled just to give you the magnitude and um, the total carbs on this is 14 grams but five of it is dietary fiber and then two grams of total sugar but the protein on this is 12 grams, uh, while the protein on this one is nine grams. So the fat content is doubled, and that's because he's keto, and that's how he burns through his system now is fat. Um, so like right now he's on his two and a half hour bike ride this morning. So. <laughs> And uh, he should be heading home pretty soon, but he'll be gone for three hours and he'll take this in the morning with his coffee and do his poo and get all of his nutrition water shakes or whatever and heads out the door. And then when he comes home, though, he uses our performance line um, recovery and he seems to see he's done his research and I forgot what he all rattled off, but it's keto friendly. So but anyways, um, just to give you a comparison, mm. I don't eat these, but I eat these. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I love that her husband's keto, like in, um, can, can help educate us on that because it is also a very popular uh, weight loss strategy. Although that's not what it was designed for. It was designed for, you know, health reasons or, and, endurance athletes and actually military which her husband is an iron man so yeah and yeah. i have a little experience with somebody with keto but um i have watched some programs on tv where there's people who do what they call clean keto and then there's dirty keto mm. my husband was definitely doing doing dirty keto <laughs> So if you're stopping off getting hamburgers with cheese and no buns and you think mm. you're being healthy and right. you know, stuff like that. So I'm sure your husband has, he sounds like he's very healthy. So he's probably doing clean keto, yep. which is what I think they recommend. And I just think some people have found there's another way to do it and it still works. And um, it's just not a healthy way to go. Right. Yeah, I've heard people, I call it the fake keto, is, uh, is they'll rely on a whole battery of supplements to get their ketos in order versus just eating whole foods and mm. fats. 
fats, natural fats, um, the clean keto. And uh, so they, I call it kind of somewhat lazy because you're paying like, I've seen people pay $150 or probably, I want to say two, $250 a month per se, just to have the vitamins and the oils and, and it's like, just go eat food. <laughs> but they're just trying to curb that keto flu because um, their body's still adapting. But it takes a while. Um, he can tell if he eats something bad within two hours. He knows his body enough to know something is not right. And uh, to what yeah. it is. So, yeah, he has no ounce of, well, I shouldn't say no ounce of fat, but He's, he's pretty lean. <laughs> he's an endurance athlete, so he, yeah, he uses it definitely for fuel. Um, I'm busy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, in the email that we sent out, um, oops, ice cream. Yes. We all scream for ice cream. <laughs> So we did send a, a couple of recipes out, Deb's pick and my pick. Um, and before uh, I should, we get into that, I'm just gonna show you real quick. So last week, um, you got this week's August week two um, meal plan. This was on last week's and I have, I printed this one out because I wanna make this. It's contained, it's one red if you're on the portion fix, which is awesome because I tend to lack getting in my reds and my greens, <laughs> have no problem with the yellow or the spoons. Um, but so this is a really, looks like a really good recipe. So I'm actually gonna try to make this tonight. It says- I'm glad you mentioned color. that. Hmm? I'm glad you put that up, Louise, because I had bought the ingredients for this, the ricotta cheese, and then I couldn't remember where I found the recipe at. Oh. So. Oh yeah. So last week's meal plan. Yeah. Okay. And, um, if you need me to send it to you again, Karen, let me know if you can. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh-huh. Um, so yeah, if anybody else needs it sent too, but this is a good way to like, oh my gosh, I need to get in another red. So gonna make me some dessert. <laughs> yeah. Hey um, Louise. Um yeah. Karen, did you get your Question answered whether you could substitute coconut milk for almond milk. Oh, I don't know. I didn't look. Oh, okay. Did, yeah. You can. Okay. I can. Okay. Okay, yeah. good. Thank you. I wasn't yeah, confident enough to answer. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I don't care for coconut, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, thank you. Uh-huh. Um, so what the, I want to play this one video, um, the banana nice cream that Deb oh, had picked. Long, yeah. So you go into your um, mindset menu and that's like the fixate cooking show for 2B mindset. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, so lunch, breakfast, dinner, dressings, accessories, she's got treats. Treats. Is it in the treats? Yeah. You just have to page over. Oh. oh. Huh. It's in treats. I wonder, is it, it's probably in the mentorship then, because this is the oh. only thing here. Are there only a three of them in there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I know where. Look under kids friendly. Actually, it's. Oh, I think you're right in the monthly membership. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, I, yeah. oh, well, we're, so this, I know we're not pregnant or pre or post, but if you know anybody who is, like, <laughs> that just dropped in the library. And then uh, 10 rounds is coming into the library at the end of the month. So um, if you're looking for a new program to do in September, August 31st, 10 rounds drops into the library. So um, when you're in the To Be Men Mindset Mentorship, so this is the monthly, you get both the To Be Mindset mentor Mentorship and the monthly fix. Mm -hmm. um, some of you have it. And so I would, 
and maybe you want to get it, but it's, it's like, depending on if you have the coach price, it's $15 a month. Okay. Treats and cocktails. There we go. There it is. And honestly, um, these recipes that come out first in the monthly deal will end up in the mindset menu, will end up in the um, fixate revenue yeah. as well. It's just the first, get them first. And this is and we are making peanut butter ice cream we call it ice cream because we are making the ice cream out of bananas. bananas we're using all natural ingredients that are healthy and good for you but you are going to eat this and it's going to taste almost like it's not because it's so 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 delicious first things first put the four bananas that were peeled chopped and then frozen into the food processor Add in the almond milk, please. This is going to help smooth it. So not all banana ice cream recipes have this step, but I find it makes the ice cream much creamier and it makes it much easier to scoop like ice cream. A pinch of salt makes a big difference. I love a pinch of salt in sweet dessert. This is powdered peanut butter. So it has all the flavor and most of the protein of peanut butter, but it's no, much lower in calorie. And now all we have to do is blend it up. The boy showed up. This is my husband, Noah. Hey guys. And this is my son, Julian. Oh, <laughs> and everyone wants ice cream. Oh, that looks good. Daddy's gonna scoop it out. He's yeah. getting, he needs to take control right now. Okay, yeah, no. Everyone wants some of this stuff. Ooh. And if you want it to be firmer in texture, you could now put it into a container and freeze it. We're gonna sprinkle it all with cacao nibs. You can also sprinkle it with some chopped peanuts. This is excellent. This is really good. Okay. <laughs> We're enjoying your little ice cream party. See you guys later, I gotta run. Hello, I'll get back to it. All right. Bye everyone, I hope you enjoy this recipe, and if you do, let us know. How easy is that, huh? Mm. <laughs> so I have a quick question. Mm -hmm. Can you substitute bananas for something else? Because I am so not a fan of bananas. Um, not that I know of. Okay. I don't either. But it's a good I was like wondering, like avocados or something. Well, and so there would be a big difference between the nutrients um, because avocados, obviously, that's a, a fat. Right. And then, um, but um, I will ask in the portion fix community. Yeah. The okay. Yeah, because I, I, I see all these ice cream recipes. I'm like, oh my gosh. They all have bananas and all these recipes that sound so good. And I just can't do a banana. I wish I could. Do you have I a, know they're like so good for you. Reaction to them or just? I just can't stand the taste uh, and the texture. I'm a texture girl and I just oh, can't yeah. do it. Huh. Are you yeah. a monthly fix, Karen? I'm sorry? Do you have the monthly membership in the? I, no. Mm -mm. I did see one. Um, Bobby Calabrese had made ice cream out of cauliflower. Oh, huh. I'll see if I can find that. And, okay, uh, thank you. Share it in the group. Um, yeah, it was a, it was like one of those preliminary fixate shows, but I think uh -huh. I downloaded the PDF. Um, yeah. Okay, thanks. That'd be great. That may actually be out on the fixate show as well now. So if you're, yeah. um, if you're in your bot app, down at the bottom where it says programs um okay you can go in there and actually access uh the fixate cooking show although okay. on your computer it would might be easier to search for it yeah but um yeah i could find the recipe and then send it okay great thank you cool so 
I think that's oh, all. Louise, Louise tell them about your um, hack on popsicles. Oh, yes. So yeah, my pick was the strawberry cheesecake popsicle, which I wanted to make last night. I was going to have it all ready. And my husband loves cheesecake and it's our five year anniversary. And uh, <gasps> already, that, but you know, life took a different turn yesterday and that didn't happen. So, but so you know how it's hard to find the popsicle molds. Um, I was going to just get the Dixie cups, you know, the wax Dixie cups that are a little bit bigger mm. and yeah. get the sticks and pour it into the wax Dixie cups. Cause then you can just peel that straight off and then you've got yourself That's what I'm doing. a Dixie cup pop. So. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. I, I can't find any, so. <laughs> no. I can't either. Yeah, mm -hmm. and pamper chef. No. It's, it's interesting the things that that are run out during this whole pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> you used to be able to find those everywhere and now you can't find them anywhere. Yeah. I even go to the Goodwill. And then. <laughs> yeah. Well, happy oh, anniversary. Thank you. Yes, five years. Oh, wow. Bravo. I know. So we're going to go do a happy anniversary hike. Yay. Yeah get out more <laughs> talk about popsicles i was thinking i remember when i was little it was those tupperware popsicle sticks my mom yep knew, and she used kool-aid with real sugar you know the sugar and i just remember like sucking all the it's like those freezy pops and, mm -hmm. yeah she would make the kool-aid and sugar and water and throw it in there and this kid's couldn't wait for it. Now I'm sitting there going, oh my God, that was just so full of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was a real treat though. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> so if you, um, let me just stop recording.